3D printers like Creality's K1 are so fast that some filaments can't keep up. It can print up to 12 times faster than most Cartesian 3D printers. With my K1 I obviously had to start the speed test with 600mm per second and the Hyper PLA first. And after the K1 printed the first slower layers and raised the speed, I thought, what? How can this be so fast? Can you print this fast with normal filament as well? And that's exactly what I had to test out. But why is Hyper PLA so good for high printing speeds? Two features are important for this. The filament has to melt and cure quickly. At high printing speeds, the extruder also has a high filament flow rate. In order for the filament to be extruded flawlessly, it has to melt fast enough for which it only has a short time. The Hyper PLA filament was developed by Creality in such a way that it melts as quickly as possible in the hot end without clogging it. Print errors caused by a too low print temperature because the filament was extruded too fast cannot occur with the Hyper PLA. But very high printing speeds are of no use if the minimum layer time cannot be reduced. In most slicers, this value specifies the minimum duration of a layer. If the 3D printer would theoretically be faster than this time, its speed would be reduced to meet this value. So if you want to increase the printing speed to reduce the print time significantly, you have to reduce that value. Except for larger objects, of course, where a layer will take several seconds even despite the high print speed. However, with the short layer time, there is a risk that the 3D printer will print on filament that is not yet fully cured, which can lead to various printing errors. Therefore, the second important focus with Hyper PLA was that it cools down and cures quickly again. This means that the minimum layer time in the slicer can be greatly reduced. This is the only way you can print even small objects like a 3D Banshee at high speeds. With Hyper PLA, printing at a speed of 600mm per second is no problem. I only adjusted the settings in the slicer roughly and did not optimize them for high speeds. This allowed me to directly print a Banshee within 12 minutes and 52 seconds. The quality is not perfect, but good enough to rate the test as a success. With calibrated settings, the quality will certainly be a bit better and perhaps the printing time can be reduced even further. With normal filament, however, the situation is different. Here, the settings have to be adjusted to the high speeds. Otherwise, the too low extrusion temperature will cause severe printing errors. We don't have to worry about fast cooling, at least with a K1, because the fan installed in the enclosure cools the layers very fast. A minimum layer duration of 1 second is therefore absolutely no problem, even with normal filament. To improve the quality, I increased the print temperature to the maximum 300 degrees Celsius so that the filament melts faster and reaches the actually desired print temperature of hopefully about 220 degrees Celsius as soon as it exits the nozzle. After that, I recalibrated the retraction and printed the test again. Although I could not reach the best time of the Hyper PLA with normal PLA, a print time of 15 minutes and 43 seconds is also great. But at least I was able to print the speed test at 600mm per second in the same time with normal filament. Printing errors also no longer appeared with the new settings. So it is possible to print at 600mm per second with the K1 even with normal filament. But it is much more difficult to achieve a good print quality than with Hyper PLA. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm out.